other thing, the Swain makes a lot of sense. A lot of synergy between those two picks. Gives an AoE slow onto a champion who already has multiple different slows, and it's a bit of extra health to make up for the nerfs specifically targeted. Wolf roaming in, finds that pink ward, throws at the bubble. The TP's gonna be matched here by Faker, who's coming in from the base. Sips his way in the front line. Here comes the curtain call. Jay, real one shot away from going down. Oh. They find Trace with the last shot. The flash not gonna take him out of range. And Bengi goes for it, flashes in for it. Actually, he already had his flash down, just moves forward for it. Gets double AP. Oh, Violet gets caught by the W. That's going to be the Kurt Cole opening up. Finds one shot. Shay going to body block the rest of these. Chase Tidal level wave. five. Yeah, Tidal Wave comes through. Last shot, though, of course. Not going to do enough. Baker goes really aggressive. Flashes in. Gets caught immediately by the Cocoon. Has to Wild Grip himself with the Hemo Blink is there, and he's going to go down. Shay finds the kill. Bangy. Turret shot comes through. He falls as well. Kuzan picking that one up. The bubble's not going to connect, and the Vladimir trying to still hound on top of SK Telecom. The Bard Ultimate comes through. Duke gets stunned up, and three kills get picked up by Jin Air. What a turnaround, and Faker going way too aggressive. Yeah, Faker. Jin Air Rek'Sai will normally snuff out information about any of those aggressive plays. Speaking oh. of aggressive plays, Chase. Yeah, they're going for Faker. The Bard Ultimate not going to connect. Kuzan comes in, throws down the Hemo Plague. Wild Growth straight onto Faker, but he's still getting whittled down so low. And look at that pop as it comes through. Kuzan finds the kill. Meanwhile, Wing takes out Bang on the backside with the help of Trace, and they're just going ham on SKT taking down a wolf to boot, and that's going to be a Baron going over to Jin Air. And the second time that Faker is caught out, it has the flow on effect. Remember, Nami had already used the ult optimistically with no reward, so she just died alone. Trace will zone out Rek'Sai. 5,000 health on the Baron. I think it's going to be Baron Jin Air. Yeah, no way for Bengi to get there in time, and they spied it out. So Jin Air finding a firm lead finally in this game, almost 3,000 up with a Baron buff. Rush as you were talking about, but it was just Faker just being in the river too far forward. And then everybody that walks up to try and help him dies oh as well. Oh boy, here we go. TP coming in as Duke is all alone in no man's land, just trying to whittle down Guzon, but it's not going to do a whole lot. The rest of SKT is trying to join this, but he's not really long for this world. He still has a, a huge amount of sustain still love swing. with the wave there. But uh, he's trying to stick around as long as he possibly can. Zonia's at the last second will regen a little bit of HP, but it's just a matter of time before he goes down, gets the never move. <laughs> <laughs> he's just living forever. Good God, Duke. B and the waves getting ready to crash. They do get a root here on the trace, but he's still a very tanky trundle. You see the heals coming through as the minions die around him. He is going to be quite safe. So even with Trace having that massive discrepancy early on, they just couldn't push it to much of an advantage. Kern Call gets used, flash forward, the bubble connects on the Kuzan, shield comes through, can they find him? Bengi goes in deep, but gets locked up immediately by the Cosmic Binding. Has to retreat as he gets whittled down. Bard Ultimate connects on the Wolf Faker, who are both really far forward. Cosmic Binding to follow up, and Faker to go down. That is going to be a three for one pick. A pilot, the only one falling, and now they're looking for Duke as well. Night ticking, he goes into the Zonias, but he's not in his ultimate. He's gonna fall, he goes down. This could be the Bang. game. The only person alive, the inhibitor falling. The wave here still empowered by Baron and Jin Air are looking to take down SK Telecom in game one at just 34 and a half minutes. Sony Bang alive, still over 30 seconds on Faker. This is gonna be the win streak stopping at 10. No one expected it, but man, Jin Air have come to play, and it's even a short game by their standards. What in the hell just happened? Jin Air Green Wings defying all expectations, coming out hugely in this first game, finishing him off. The Nexus will explode right as we hit that 35-minute mark.